back to what I was talking about. Like, imagine that you're a new player that just started the game. Okay. And the first thing that you see is all those packs inside the store with the Regal Dorn, Lehman Russ, and the Reaper Scythe. And that's 78,000 gold. Okay. And then all of a sudden, a week later, there's a new tank in game that's 20,000 gold. Okay. And guess guess what the total's up to already? That That's already... Don't forget taxes. That's already $400. Because I don't think you can buy 20,000 gold by itself. You have to buy... Yeah, you got to buy the $100 pack. Yeah. You know, like, you, you can't get away with that. that. That's absolutely ridiculous. So they're already up to $400 in June for a new player that just started the game and he's looking at it. Like, I would immediately be turned off by that. I would as well. That is not appealing. $500. Yeah, that's... I mean, there's just so many other things you could buy with $500 rather than spend it on a video game that's not really even that popular. I, I wouldn't really say not that popular. Like, there's a good amount of good player base, but it's just... Yeah. Ridiculous that they're asking that. Like, I saw that, and the first thing that went through my head is, what in the absolute... Yeah, well, I mean, I say that because it's a double-A title, and I mean... You, you call this double-A? Titles. <laughs> yeah, is it not double-A? I, I, I call this indie right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think World of Tanks has ever been considered double-A. Like, yeah. in multiplayer, I would, I would say World of Tanks is like a B. More yeah, than I, I would ever call it an A class. Like, I would call it a B. No, it's just it, it's it's ridiculous in the price gouging that's going on right now. OK, and the worst part about it is this. I had to remove a review off YouTube um, two, two, two or so years ago for the uh, the Caliban. All right, because they sold that tank with advanced reload. They sold it with advanced reload. And then there were uh, a couple of months later, they were like, oh, we changed our mind. We're going to remove that from all these tanks. That's not good. We need to remove it. Yet, whenever you were you would look at it, it was legitimately sold inside the Prime Pack. Okay, the Prime Pack. It came with Advanced Reload. Okay, it came with it. You bought it, and it was advertised that way, and then it was removed. That was irritating. Okay, and the, the worst part about it is this. I hate to say this, but at the same time, I don't hate to say this. Wargaming right now has a rapist mentality. All right, because they remove it. And guess what? They didn't offer any refunds. They didn't offer any compensation. They didn't offer any discounts. They didn't offer anything. It was simply they removed it and they said, deal with it. By the way, if you played a match inside the tank, we're not going to refund it because you already played a match inside the tank, you know? So by that point, the only thing going through my head is like, that's equivalent to a, just a rapist mentality. You're you're gonna get screwed and you're gonna deal with it. And that's exactly what happened with all those people. And the one thing I hate is that no one updated their review of the tank. No one updated or like no one went over or talked about it with anybody else. It was just everyone kind of just left it the way it was. So there was all this misinformation going around. Just like right now, how people say like there's cheaters in the game. I'm sorry, but they're if if you're spending your time to cheat on a console game, you're wasting time and money. I'm just going to say that now. You know, like there's no value in cheating on a console game. This is like where all the casuals play and then matchmaking being one sided all the time. People talking about one sided matchmaking. I want ranked. That's all I want. If, if ranked was in this game, I would play daily. But since ranked is not in this game and it's public casual matchmaking, um, there is no enjoyment to be gained from it. That was a complete miss because I'm a Muppet. Is that a bot? That feels like a bot. What, the artillery? No, the Chaffee. I think that's a bot. I think it's a legitimate bot. Oh, I'm just first. I'll take him out. Oh, 
fucking hard. Yeah, they are. I didn't realize I had this many over here. I am in a really weird situation right now. Alright, I need you to hit the deadbolt. Oh, you're dead. No, yeah, nah, that's fine. I tried to go take out the Masato. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go back to Crouch, but no, I'm just, I'm, I'm irritated with everything that's been coming out. I mean, I'm irritated with everything about the game. The fact that I'm right now playing the game irritates me. <laughs> like it, it the the worst part about it is this like I, I i play hell let loose all right i play any other title but the thing is i can't make a video about world of tanks unless i'm playing world of tanks if i'm playing a completely different game and i'm not playing world of tanks do you why make a video on it yeah yeah you know, because people are going to be like, well, you're not you're not playing the game. I mean, that's the entire point. <laughs> Why do I want to play a game that makes me angry? I mean, normally I don't get angry, but what makes me angry about World of Tanks right now is, is the fact that this is a game I grew up with. This this is a game that if I was to go on the forums and I was to type anything on the forums back when the forums were actually a thing, you would see one thing pop up next to my tag. Beta tester. And then there's that, you know, and the other thing is just like everyone talking about cheaters and everything else. It, it, it's exploits. OK, everything about this game is an exploit. Update 6.0 is one of the worst updates in the game. Now, I'm not talking like the update itself. I'm talking about what was introduced on update 6.0. Steady aim is a perk I kept on the down low. I never talked about it because I didn't want to talk about it because each time I bring it up, I get angry about it. If this was Call of Duty and steady aim was a perk that you could put on your gun. Do you know how fast that perk would be removed? No, uh, right away. Oh, it would be gone immediately because it is not a 10% increase. It is actually a 42% increase. The reason why is because your your base accuracy, let's say your base accuracy is 0.42. You put steady aim on, suddenly your base accuracy is 0 0.33, 0 0.34, all right? Not just that, but all other categories are increased as well. So that rather than, if it was just an increase to um moving and turret traverse accuracy that there would be some value there okay but the fact that it affects base dispersion value by 10 percent, and then you put born leader on it then you put uh ventilation on it and suddenly that perk is even stronger ventilation improves your accuracy without that perk so now you put that perk on ventilation is improving your accuracy plus it's affecting that perk which also then in return affects your accuracy um Running vertical stabilizers and then uh, steady aim by itself is a 60% increase to your overall accuracy. That's not including snapshot and running gun. That's just one perk and one piece of equipment. That's exactly why Aviary snap your fucking Compola. Without a problem. Oh. Without a problem. It's if, if they were to remove steady aim... By itself, a lot of accuracy issues with pinpoint precision from 800 plus meters would be gone or 500 plus meters or like the, the brawling at 400 meters. It would be gone because now rather than um, rather than a 70 percent hit chance, you know, that hit chance went down to 40 or that hit chance went down to 20. It. I don't know. I'm just I'm blown away by how this game is going right now, and I'm I'm just irritated about it. Don't get me wrong. Like I want this game to succeed. I want this game to do good. But the the route that they're trying to go down right now is not the proper. It, it's just not the right way to go. And that's why I tell people at this moment in time, it's like it doesn't matter if you don't buy that pack, because other people are gonna buy it. The, the only way that you can actually get your point across is by physically stop playing the game. If us as a community all stop playing the game on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, oh, even Saturdays. Saturday is actually the high tide time, so that'd be a really good time to just up and not play. Um, 
that actually hurts them because now their investors see that's happening and now their investors are wondering why why are the numbers so low when they used to be around this you know that would really affect them it's not about if we spend money or not it's about player numbers and player counts if we lowered the player numbers and player counts and we made their investors see it that's what matters the most I will say this. The creature was probably one of the best additions that they've ever brought into the game just because how derpy this thing is. <laughs> My brother has that thing. I don't know if he knows how to play it yet. Oh, it is it is a pain in the butt to play. Like, I'm probably going to die here in a moment, but I'm going to die happy. Yeah. But no, it's just... As a player community, the one thing that we can do is this. Rather, rather than spending the 60 bucks on a brand new tank, which is ridiculous, and not just that, but like uh, every single tank that has come out up to right now, okay, the wings of a car eye, or whatever the heck they're called from the Dune tanks, okay? Uh, disappointment. Like, a tank I would never recommend anyone to ever get their hands on. If it was 8 degrees of gun depression by itself, without pneumatic suspension, I would say, heck yeah, get it, that's a great tank. But the fact that it has automatic suspension takes away from it. Same thing about the Type 63. If the Type 63 had 10 degrees of gun depression, without pneumatic suspension, I would say it would be one of the best tier rates in the game right now. Okay? Like, hands down. But the thing is, you don't see those tanks being played anymore. They're gone. And the biggest reason is this. The Type 63 at its core is broken in three different ways. Okay. First way, pneumatic suspension is automated, which takes away from the effect of the tank. Second way, cruise control in that tank physically does not work. All right. Because of pneumatic suspension. Third way, the final way. It likes to jolt by itself, making your shells randomly every single once in a while go completely opposite of where you're aiming, even though the reticle never indicated that that happened. But the movement of the tank did. So that tank by itself is quite literally rapist mentality tank design. We're going to design something bad. You're going to play a match in it. And guess what? We're going to say, deal with it. You cannot refund this. Rapist mentality. It is ridiculous. And I hate to use that statement saying rapist mentality, but I mean, it's the truth. That's true. Yeah. You know, because it's like, we're going to do this and you're going to deal with it. Like that, that's a rapist mentality. I don't, I don't care. You know, it's one of the biggest reasons why, like, I support indie developers more nowadays than I do any AAA title ever. Then again, it, I've always supported indie developers. Like, I still play Trenched, which they had to rebrand it as Iron Brigade. Or I still play, like, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, because that, that's just a good game from 2006. And I still play World of Tanks, because I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Do I want to give it the benefit of the doubt? No. Do I trust them no <laughs> am i still here yeah i'm still here have i spent a lot of money on the game no i haven't do i plan on spending more money on the game no because i have a real life i have you know um i gotta take care of what i have i got bills to pay i got everything else to pay and it's like you guys have already put down 400 dollars of content in june my birthday was the 17th where was my, where was my gift war gaming speaking of which the most recent tier 10 being one of the biggest disappointments that's ever been released. Imagine spending 20,000 gold on a medium tank labeled as a heavy. Yeah, no, this uh, new tier 10 is absolutely tragic. Yeah. I mean, somebody could actually and, probably sue. Oh, I, 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 dude, I, I, I really hope. But the problem is inside the TOS, we can't. Um, TOS is, will completely deny that. Uh, like a lot of companies right now are trying to do forced arbitration, okay? And forced arbitration, I've opted out. I've opted out of every single one of them. Like, cause I'm I keep track of companies that I support and companies that I go after. Like, um, movies anytime, anywhere. 
they're trying to do forced arbitration. I'm gonna I'm already opt out of that. It's like, no, dude, that that's that's my that's what I paid for. That's my content. If I want to download it to my phone and watch it on my phone offline, guess what I'm gonna do? I will pirate it now and watch it offline because I already own <laughs> okay. the content. If you're not gonna offer me the content and you tell me I have to be connected to watch a downloaded video, you gotta be kidding me. Your aim is super off today, but um. Yeah, well, my gunner went down. Yeah, but you were like super close. Get closer. <laughs> <laughs> and then this uh, yeah, GW. Yeah, my aim is off today. You know, and, and I've also noticed this. Um, uh, whenever you do the math for like free to play compared to premium time, free to play in World of Tanks is one of the worst experiences you will ever have. Okay, uh, it, it is hands down one of the worst experiences you will ever have in this game. For instance, I have zero days of premium. My premium time just ran out. Um, I'm going to play, you know what? I'm going to play my Panther. My Panther would be the best to play. And I am I just want to see how much silver I lose inside this match. And just to put the icing on top, all standards. Because yeah, I almost it, don't even... premium consumables are required to play this game. Mm -hmm. If if you're not running premium consumables, you are at the biggest disadvantage in any title I have ever seen in my life. Okay, not even Star Trek Online is this bad for repairing components. Okay, it it's not even this bad. Like, yeah. you, you want to use the free batteries? All right, cool. You can use the free batteries. They're going to bolster your power. They're going to give you a slight damage increase. But then guess what? The ones that take the premium consumable style, the, the ones that take the elite R&D material that sometimes you have to pay for to be able to get your hands on, guess what? It's not that big of an advantage. It is a 7% global advantage. That's it. And inside of a DPS build, believe me, that's 7% doesn't mean crap whenever I have 5,458% base damage. But it also provides a skill gap. I mean, like, uh, a real skill gap, not how World of Tanks has it, where you can just spam premium and your W and 8 magically goes up because you pen every shot. I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, W and 8 has no value. Real, real skill gap to where that seven percent really means something in Star and, uh, Trek kind of pro. kind of like it because it's seven percent bonus damage okay which means that it's a global cap off so like once the seven percent like actually applies rather than five thousand four hundred i might be looking at five thousand six hundred but the thing is in correlation to the damage that you see flying off rather than doing nine like let's say um eighty seven thousand i'm now doing um, yeah, rather than 87, I'm now doing, uh, 89. Like, the actual difference whenever you are in the match is not as big as the numbers may make it seem to be. Yeah. While there's a free piece of equipment that you can get that increases your firing, firing cycle haste, and your haste means that you're shooting more often, a little bit faster by like 10%. And that 10% speed increase is worth so much more than the 7% um, damage increase any day of the week. Yeah, but regardless, I won't play this game if I don't have premium time. It's just all unbearable, especially if you're trying to grind. Yeah, well, I, I'm tiers. done buying premium time. Like I'm gonna be playing uh, without premium and only play with what they give me. Like, for instance, I'm super irritated because I uh, clicked on the starter pack for the um, this season, the starter pack inside the store. Never confirmed the purchase, never confirmed anything, and it got applied to my account by simply just opening it. Even though I never confirmed purchase or anything else. So, rather than me being able to use the freebie uh, premium time for the weekend like I wanted to, um, I was given the premium time and forced to use it uh, during the regular week, and I didn't play during the regular week because I would, wasn't going to play during the week. Yeah, that wouldn't make me too happy. Yeah, I was a little bit upset about that and kind of wanted to report it as a bug.
That's a stir mill. If you want to pull over here, I need a little bit of assistance. I am on my way. No, I'm not in a very good tank, but... You'll be able to... Pretty much stuck. If you need to, try and go around and get up on the side and... Cause I'm gonna go up high real quick. Right. And I know I got you in a really sticky situation. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, it's okay. And then, <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about free to play, you wanna know really sucks about free to play? What? The number one thing that sucks about free to play is when you're playing free to play and then you go against a tank that's the same tier as you that you physically cannot pin unless you load premium. Yeah. The VK100 is probably the best example of this. Is he up high or down low? He's up high. But, um, yeah, the VK100, the hatch is 220. Now imagine your pin is 220. Now imagine that thing is 100 meters away from you and you're playing free to play inside of your, um, Progetto 54. You physically cannot pin that tank anywhere. That tank is a indestructible object for the time being. Having put a little bit more brain power than normal. Then again, I'm playing with stock turret. I got stock turret syndrome. Ah, stir mill. We all love you. I've been gifted this huntsman like ten times, it feels like. Is this thing any good? Do you wanna know what else you've probably been gifted like ten times? What? The Carnivon Action X. The oh. huntsman guaranteed. Um the type 592. Um the T77, if you've been playing long enough, I'm a little lost in how he caught that, but okay. Oh yeah, so he's got 15 degrees of gun depression, never mind. Um, yeah, there's a couple on that list that are just like, whatever. Anyways, I wanna see how much uh, I'm gonna lose in this match. Yeah, look at the M4 player. What does it say on your screen for this M4 player? I am back in the garage looking at another tier seven to buy. Okay. His ammo rack's damaged, his radio's damaged, his radio operator's killed, his gunner's killed. I'm gonna switch, uh, his radio man's dead, I go back, and it says that that's all dead for him. Okay, right there. And I guarantee that Stura Millet's on the enemy team, has premium consumables, and has his entire crew. So right here, this, dude, just imagine this guy's experience. Imagine that he's got a free repair kit, and a free med kit, and he's going against players like me that have everything at their disposal. Yeah, I, I would not be having fun. I'm, I'm just going to commentate over this. Uh, just think of it this way. Like, watch, watching the British Bulldog die, okay? Watching the Chinu die, okay? And now your last man standing against a Tier 7. Oh, and don't forget, you got free consumables. That cannot be reused. Balance. No matter what, this match is a guaranteed loss because he physically cannot do anything to turn the tide. Period. Game over. The, the, there's a massive balancing issue inside this game, and it is it has been super bad for the past three years, ever since update 6.0. As I said, 6.0 was one of the worst updates ever implemented into the game. And it's not because of what 6.0 did, but it's exactly because 6.0 changed so many mechanics without ever actually changing them new features that were all premium related or you know like the past couple of months with no good tanks coming out for crying out loud the double taps the biggest disappointment ever if it was a tier 8 I would be ecstatic but no it's it's a tier 9 and I'm still waiting on this guy to die just drive off a cliff 
Like I'm I'm not kidding by this point. You physically cannot win this. That fake panther is guaranteed to win right now. Thousand hit points. Panther. Well, it's a PZ5, which is Panzer 5, which is Panther. Oh, no. M10. It was um a disguised variant. But no, he, he just physically can't. Th this match is a guaranteed loss, no matter what. And this guy has drove the entire map. Dad, 35318, I am not dissing on you. If anything, your resolve is amazing by the fact that you are still pushing in this, trying to go at a different play. But since your gunner's dead, long range engagements is just going to be really, really hard. <laughs> and just saying. Unless you got steady aim, then your long range engagement, it doesn't matter if your gunner's dead or not. I've tested it, dude. It's ridiculous how much that buffs your freaking accuracy. You put armor on and steady aim, it doesn't matter if your gunner's dead. It's like pre 6.0 accuracy by that point. I, I want to give this guy some encouraging words. But I, I know it's all pointless because he's either three shots or two shots. I think he's two shots because I think the M10 has 150 alpha. So it's a 50 50 if he dies in two. Or three. But something tells me that that's not going to happen. He's going straight in 47 seconds left. Like if, if he can catch out the tracks of the M10. I'm pretty sure the M10 will still out repair. His reload with a with a the gun rammer issue he's got. Oh yeah, the M10's already right on point, like looking straight at him. Good hit. Dude, I'm cheering dad on. Oh. War cry's gonna get him. Oh, What's the alpha? One six. Okay, three shots. Yeah, it's three shots guaranteed. Oh, 142. And game over. You tried. You tried your heart out. Now let's take a look at this. Let's say I'm, I'm on a grind. Okay, I, I did 2,000 damage. I, I did... 800 more damage than my health and I had all premium consumables and I lost 5,000 silver. Okay. And here's the best part. If I was running uh, a standard med kit and a standard repair kit, I would have done way less. And the reason why I lost my driver in that match, I think twice. It would have been the worst experience of my life with my driver dead twice. You know, now, um, Deathstroke, I'm just going to say this. Don't get me wrong. I understand that the, the developers of this game, this is their day job. Oh, and look, um, I got a, we have a personal offer for you. Okay, what does that personal offer for? I'll get to that in a second. But um, this is their day job to work on this game. Okay, it's their day job. It's what they do. But it doesn't change the fact that they're releasing content for no reason whatsoever. Tier 10s being able to be purchased with gold is a joke. All right. What they need to do is this tier tens need to be put in contracts like mercenary tanks. Then you need to spend silver to get the contract. Yeah. Like let's say 10 million silver. All right. Boom. All of a sudden there's a giant wall in front of new players to get tier 10. Huge wall. Uh, holy crap wall. Okay. And then guess what? If you want to skip a stage, guess what you can do? You can spend gold to skip that stage. All of a sudden, more gaming's happy because they're making their money by people skipping stages. And then the rest of the player community is super happy because guess what? You can't just buy it right away. You got to play the game. Yeah, that's a good solution. Got to You got to play the... You got to get go to the game. Problem solved. Well, that or uh, PC solution is pretty decent. They got that cash, the extra currency you earn, and you can use... Uh, bonds. Bonds, you know. Thing is, is that you think console can even handle it. By the way, what the hell is this personal offer? It doesn't tell me what vehicle it's for. 
Uh, good work on the battlefield, SOD Medhaven. You unlocked a bundle at an exclusive 50% discount. Purchase this now for 1000 or find it in your store tab for the next three days. That doesn't oh, tell gosh. me what it is. That's All right, one, it, it's a camouflage, but 181. What's the 181? Is this the one for the T-34? Okay. How simple was that, Wargaming? T for the T-34, World War II. Another problem that I have, that's the entire reason why I stopped spending money on the game, is because I buy war chests. You know, whenever I get on, I get war chests. That's what I go for. And whenever I get war chests now, I get Cold War shit. I'm sorry, dude. But if I'm gonna buy a war chest, the... yeah, I I don't I don't play Cold War. Cold War to me is a joke. Cold War can keep their key cards. World War Two can keep their war chest. Keep us separate. All right, keep us separate. That's all I'm gonna say. Separate it. Problem solved. Separate it the same way that you have World War Two separated from Cold War to begin with inside the tab. Okay. Hey, look, Cold War. Awesome. Skip. Hey, look, it's my section. Horrible tank inside this list right now. Okay, uh, but then you go over to War Chest and guess what? It's all one big giant cluster of exactly the same crap in every single section. They also need to fix their freaking free daily chest. If you log in, you should get it for free and not need to open it right away. You should be able to get like 40 of them stacked up and then open them all at once. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's like no point to do that, but still. Stack them because some people want to open a chest like a week after they get it to try and see if they can get a premium time day on a Friday or a Saturday, you know, to actually be able to use it on that day rather than being forced to open it, get it that day. And it's like, bro, I'm leaving town today. No. You know, I got a free day of premium, but guess what? I'm not playing tomorrow. Thanks for gaming. Complete waste of my time. Complete waste of everyone else's time with your horribly optimized setup. And the fact that you're releasing all sorts of modified garage equipment and you're adding in a thousand, you're adding in more stuff that doesn't need to be there. Like for instance, 3d commanders. Okay. Uh, my, my question for you is this, like what was the point in 3d commanders? I don't see what I mean. I see the wh why they added the three stars to them, making. Uh, I I see the XP bonus. Our, our I like XP, the XP yeah. bonus, but a 3D but the model. 3D, that's just. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's yeah, cool. Cool idea. Cool concept. But do you want to know the worst thing about the 3D commander? The fact that people want to show it off. The fact that whenever you see MVP, how you're like, I want to get that MVP. I want that. I want that. How often do you see people platooning nowadays? Okay. This is something that has gone down drastically. The amount of platoons that you see inside matchmaking, because it is no longer 15 versus 15. There's a lot of people in this game right now that have the mindset of one versus 29. And that's a horrible way to look at it. Horrible way to look at it. No, you know, no. there's, there's no team based inside this game anymore. Everybody in every clan I've been on has said that, but... It's 1 versus 29. My brother would like to join the party. Would you mind? Um, no, no. I'm, I'm going to be jumping off in a moment. I just, you know, like, I'm still recording. I'm going over this. It's just, like, I wanted to get my opinion out there because I'm angry about this. Yeah. I am beyond angry about this. The fact that there's all this stuff going on, and guess what they're doing? When was the last time we actually had a skill rebalance inside this game? When was the last time we actually had a legitimate matchmaking rebalance inside this entire game? Okay. Another thing is about matchmaking itself. I'm sorry to say this to everyone that's, you know, going to be watching this in the future, but whenever you're playing the game, look at the map. Okay. Look at the map. Left side of the map, right side of the map. All right. Multiple, uh, value. like for instance, Sand River, if you spawn on the Eastern spawn, okay. Um, or is it the western spawn? I can't remember. It's on the left side of the map. Um, and then you head to the north. Okay. And you go up the north path. So how many people actually go up that north path anymore? No one. You, you'll be on the enemy team. You know, like uh, you, you'll, you'll drive over there by yourself and you'll see like five guys come at you from that northern pass. And you're just like, oh, I'm dead. Because none of your team wants to go that way because no one knows how to play it anymore. All right. And the one thing that irritates me is this. I want ranked gameplay. Because I want people to see the difference between high skill matches compared to public. I want people to be able to see that inside streams. Like if you include ranked gameplay, it would give streamers incentive to stream. 
it would give creators incentive to actually want to jump in and actually make uh, detailed guides and like map strategy and everything else. But the fact that there is no ranked gameplay, there is no reason to even care. Because it's all public. There, there's no point to care. And competitive, one of my biggest problems about competitive is this. It's all the same people. It's always all the same people. Sometimes under a different clan clan tag name. Sometimes on a completely different gamer tag. But it's always the same people. That's what sucks about competitive. Don't get me wrong. I think competitive is awesome. I think it's fun. Um, I think it's a great experience for people to jump in and try it out a couple of times. But do I think it's like actual skill? Uh, to a point, yes. And to a point, no. Um, people that brag about W and 8, W and 8 has no value to me. Like, it legitimately means nothing. Because if you're a passive scout player, guess what? You are punished because your W and 8 is zero. And that that's what it is. Anyways, I, I'm done with my little rant. You know, but I'm just, I'm irritated about it. That That's all there is to it. Like, I want to get back into the game, but the thing is, I just don't have the will to get back in the game. Because there is nothing new that's interesting there's nothing that has captivated my attention more than half a second because it's uh just a gimmick by this point like every every single tank that has been released up in the past six months has essentially just been gimmicks kind of this little in-between stuff that they do and i feel bad for people at the bottom anyways deathstroke thanks for you know jumping in playing of course anytime hearing my rant go on uh, I'm just going to kill the recording and then post it up on YouTube and be like, whatever.